Hi everyone, this is TK Vepper Tech, and we are back with another review and unboxing video. Today we're looking at a bicycle accessory called the Bike Tide Connect Kit by the company Bone, based in Taiwan. Uh, this package comes with the Phone Tide Connect and the Bike Tide Connect, and this will allow you to connect and disconnect your phone from your handlebars uh, very easily. It won an award in Taipei. This thing fits a phone with a 4.7 to a 7.2 display and the most important thing is that it is compatible with Garmin mounts. You can also get accessories like the run tie connect and armbands if you want to exercise with your uh, phone strapped to your arm. Some warnings here, don't use this uh, when there is excessive shaking if you're doing some extreme sports. Also, do not use it if you find any uh, damage to the silicon. Also, don't use your phone in the rain for a long time because your phones are not really waterproof. On the back, we see how we connect the phone to the adapter that you you know latch onto your handlebar or your stem. It works in either orientation, horizontal or vertical, uh, because of their 45 degree angle twist locking system. It is made in China but designed by Bone in Taiwan. There is the QR code if you want to scan it for more information. And as you can see, it's compatible with Garmin bike mounts. So if you already have a Garmin mount on your bike, this will uh, allow you to directly mount your phone to your bike without using the included adapter that they give you, the bike tie connect uh, adapter. And that is something that I really looked for when I was searching for a phone holder. Alright, the first thing you'll find inside is a wrist strap. This is uh, very useful. Uh, you can tie one end to your phone, the other end uh, around your bicycle handlebar so that uh, even if uh, the phone dismounts or gets uh, popped off because of over shakiness, your phone will be safe. Here's the strap. As you can see, the quality is very good. The silicon they, they're using is high quality, very thick. And I don't see this snapping anytime soon. There's a little ball there to adjust how tight you want the strap to be. So actually, uh, this was something I didn't expect to come with the package. So a nice touch. Next, let's dump everything out. We have the two connect kits here. So here is the product. We have the phone tie connect kit and the bike tie connect kit. Seven languages, English, Taiwanese, Chinese, Japanese, Korean, German, and French. So scan one of those codes and learn more about uh, this product. So you can see it says bone there, the logo, and the mounting system you can see already like an X shape, so it's 45 degrees rotated. And this will allow you to mount your phone type kit in either direction, either orientation, horizontal or vertical. So that is very good, uh, very good engineering. So right away you can see the quality of the silicon is very thick, very premium looking. So they are not messing around. This is a legit product. So look at how thick that piece of silicon is. Very nice. And also they have a big spacer there. So your phone is not going to bounce off your handlebar and get damaged that way. Let's take a look at the strap. It works like an Apple Watch strap. And there's a hook there to securely lock in your phone tie connect kit. So this will go around any handlebars or the head stem of your bicycle. You can also latch this onto a shopping cart or a baby stroller and then use your phone while you're shopping or pushing your baby around. Here's the phone tie connect that is the Garmin mounting system. This will stretch and fit any uh, phones with a 4.7 to 7.2 inch display. See the nice bone logo there. Alright, let's compare this with some of the cheaper 
holders out there. So the first one I got from Amazon, only about $12 or 1,200 yen. This one you cannot take off. It goes around your bicycle and that's it. You cannot unmount it easily. And immediately you can see the difference in the quality of the material. It's uh, the, the silicon is much thinner. And overall looks cheap, right? This one does rotate like this, but it doesn't really lock in securely, so uh, it might, you know, rotate while you're riding through a rough area. But it does its job, it's not bad. Next we have one from Gentos. I got this from a store for about 2,000 yen or $20. It uses a similar Garmin mounting system. You can slide this piece out and rotate it so you can mount your phone in either or horizontal or vertical orientation. But the problem with this is the latch here is not very secure so sometimes it pops off and your bike can land on the floor. And also the silicon they use is not very tough. After a few weeks of using it, it uh, started to tear. So right there, can you see the, the tears? So basically this is not safe to use anymore. You can't really expect a lot from something that's 2,000 yen or $20. The Bone Tie Connect kit will cost around uh, $45 or 4,900 yen. So now let's put on the strap. The Phone Tie Connect is specially designed for the shape of the strap. So I'll just uh, push this end through the loop. It is very snug feels very secure and finally push the ball through the loop and we're done now you can use this as a wrist strap use your phone while you're walking around and as a security measure tie this to your handlebar or something on your bicycle like the, the, the headlight then your phone will not drop to the floor even if the mounting system fails you I've uh, written with this thing for a few months now and uh, no problems at all. Very sturdy. The locking system is very secure. The only problem that I see is that if your garment mount is cheaply made, like the plastic is cheap, that part might mess up and then your mount will uh, come off easily. So make sure you get something uh, with good quality. Alright, so we've put the phone into the mount. You can see uh, it fits nicely. This is a 6 inch or 6.1 inch phone, uh, Oppo phone. So it's slightly bigger than the iPhone 11, 12, and the 10. And definitely you can uh, fit a Max into it as well. So this locking system works like this you set it at a 45 angle degree. and then twist either way. If you twist to the right, then you have it in the portrait or the vertical orientation. If you twist it to the left, then you can use the mount in the horizontal or landscape orientation. So very nice design. No need to mess with latches to change the orientation. It just, you know, locks in like that. With most Garmin mounts, you're not going to get this option. It's uh, not designed with a 45 degree angle twist. Let's check it out and see how tough this thing is. I'm going to shake it like crazy. And it is not coming off. Alright, one last look at this set. We have the Bike Tide Connect Kit on the left and the Phone Tide Connect Kit on the right. And it fits very snug and securely. It is well made and engineered precisely with the highest quality of materials. It may seem kind of expensive at $45, but you know, you get what you pay for. 
All right, now I'm going to go over how to mount this thing to your bicycle. So you can see the Bite Connect kit right there on my head stem. I'm not using it because I already have a Garmin mount on my bike. There it is. On the top is a Garmin mount. On the bottom is an action camera mount. So this does not have the 45 degrees uh, angle twist. So you mount it this way. Twist all the way. And now it is in the portrait mode. And that's it. You cannot mount this on the horizontal mode. And then this strap, we can tie it around the bell or something to secure the phone to your bike in case the mount does fail. Okay, now on the included mount, we can do either direction. So just go at a 45 degrees like that and then twist this way. We're in portrait mode. Twist the other way. We're in horizontal mode or landscape mode. And that is convenience, my friends. Very nice. You can see the spacer there. So your phone is going to be safe. It's not going to hit against the, the handlebars or anything because of that spacer. And they made the spacer quite thick because sometimes the phone can bang against your handlebar if you're going through a rough patch. Again, Garmin mount. You can only mount it in one direction. So this is the phone tied connect and the bike tied connect kit. Next, we are going to take this out for a spin and check out how secure this thing is. I'll be riding my bike here uh, while adjusting the mount. So you can see that you can operate this thing with one hand. And that comes in very handy if you want to take your phone off quickly for a picture if you're using the app Relive. Okay, so it's strapped onto my Garmin mount and I'm riding on a pretty smooth surface right now. We'll go through some rougher surfaces later. So just twist like this to take it off. Oh, let's try the included mount. So 45 degree angle, twist. Or twist the other way. So now we are in the portrait mode. Twist it to the side and we're in landscape mode. Make sure it's secure. Let's go back this way. I'm just making sure the, the phone is in the center. Okay, we're going to go down this uh, decline and there are some uh, rough areas. And you'll see the phone kind of shake. That's no problem. That's how it's supposed to be. Okay, well, so this part is kind of rough. You can see that. And look at the phone. It just vibrated, but it's not going to come off. So overall, I'm very impressed with this mount. Alright, finally we'll test this thing going at full speed. It is mounted on the Garmin mount, not on the Bike Tide Connect kit. I prefer this way because it keeps it clean. I have the Garmin mount set up already with my action camera under it. So not another mount on my handlebar. This will keep the setup cleaner. You can see me going pretty fast there. So even without the bike tight connect kit, uh, it's pretty safe. And that's because of the thick silicon that's under the phone. So that's gonna provide enough cushioning uh, when your phone is going, you know, bouncing up and down. So for those who don't really use a bike computer and want to use their phone as a bike computer, this is an excellent option. Just get a mount like the one I have here and you're good to go. Or just use the included Bike Tide Connect kit. 
which I also like a lot because you can mount it in the, the landscape uh, orientation too. Overall, my impression is that this is a nice setup and I highly recommend this for anyone who's serious about cycling. I mean, you spend thousands on your bike, you should have the best available mount out there on your bike. And this is the best you'll get. Very secure, very convenient in the way you can unmount it at any time for a quick picture. And also, this uh, it's multi-functional. Uh, you can tie it to a shopping cart, a baby stroller, even on a backpack strap. So you don't have to hold your phone all the time in your pocket or in your hand. And the wrist strap has a nice touch. You can use that to securely hold your phone while you're running around. So you don't drop your phone. Alright, so this is the Bike Tide Connect Kit and the Phone Tide Connect Kit made by the company Bone based in Taiwan. $45 or 4,900 yen from Amazon. Rate it very highly, and I see why exactly, because it is the best mount that I've ever had. All right, thanks for watching, guys. I hope you've enjoyed this video, this review, this demonstration of the mount in the real world usage. Please like, subscribe, hit the notification button, and I will catch you guys in the next one.